All right, hello, greetings, and welcome everyone to this news video. I am the engineer, and the topics we are covering today are as follows. Aptera to appear at Mont uh, Monterey Car Week. Uh, Aptera got hoses. U.S. Capitol webinar about Aptera. Aptera shares how the motor fits. And Trump wants an Aptera? Let's get started. So according to this uh, energy blog called Personalized Energy, uh, Aptera Motors will unveil the first solar vehicle at Monterey Car Week. Uh, I found this interesting because it is technically not the first solar car, but it might be the first successful solar car. So that is a very important distinction to make, in my opinion. At any rate, the article goes through a bunch of uh, uh, fun topics like uh, what Aptera is and what makes Aptera unique and uh, production and availability for Aptera. None of this stuff is going to be groundbreaking if you're not already, uh, or sorry, if you're already in the space um, about Aptera and uh, know about what they're doing and when they're getting to into production and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it is a fun read if you feel like reading some stuff that you already probably know. Uh, most of the stuff they got on there was right, so yeah, it's good times. Uh, very nice article, very fun stuff. Uh, the event itself is um, not something I've ever been to or even heard of, so if you are in the area, let me see here, uh, if you're in the Monterey area and want to uh, go to that event, do it to it. All right, ladies and gents, I just want to say here and now that I have never, not once in my life, ever, had any sort of happiness, excitement, or vibes from a washer fluid reservoir in my life. But somehow, somehow, Aptera managed to do this. They managed to get me excited about one of the most innocuous pieces of a vehicle ever. Cool. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I see the, the cool uh, aesthetic that they put together here, the awesome little uh, room with the uh, polygons and tetrahedrons and, and triangles and, and parallelograms and a yeah, bunch of shapes in the background. Uh, really, this is really well done. It's like this is a really done up version uh, of a reveal for a washer fluid reservoir. Uh, they also talked about the hoses and things. Uh, the power um, coupler is actually part of the system. So they are doing a really good job of integrating systems together to make them uh, easy to manage pieces, uh, all good for right to repair and things of that nature. Uh, that's the part that got me uh, excited after the literally amazing lighting and uh, picture taking that is uh, this reveal. So yeah, good times. Uh, it's, it's, it's still amazing to me how they can make the most innocuous things interesting. Uh, and fun. So yeah, keep doing that guys. I, I appreciated it. All right. So there was the uh, U.S. Capitol webinar that I watched all the way through on uh, several different places. Um, yeah, it was a webinar that basically announced uh, Aptera's uh, convertible note offering uh, and the terms thereof. And I was uh, off when it came to uh, some of the finer details, but the basic premise of the convertible note is you get these notes and then you can convert them to stock later. So I got that part right, but uh, the nuances of it are a little bit uh, askew. And I would say if you would like to know what those things were uh, that were kind of like the minutia, the details, uh, the fact that there are some uh, non-accredited investors that can get in on this uh, but it's reserved for mostly friends and family of the Aptera company. Uh, yeah, things like that. Just go ahead and watch the full presentation, get the full uh, picture, the full diagram, all the questions that you uh, can think of answered. They answered a lot of questions in this one. Um, specifically about the offering, um, I tried asking a couple of questions about uh, things that weren't about the offering, which is probably why they weren't answered. But yeah, the, check it out. You'll understand everything there is to know about the offering after that presentation. All right, so Aptera put out a video, uh, uh, sorry, not a video, wow. Uh, they put out renders of their uh, fully built chassis with the uh, new motor inside of it. 
Uh, you can see all the little intricate details that they decided to put in this uh, reveal. Uh, you can see the steering column and other aspects of the suspension. You can see the, the motors and how they've adjusted the uh, suspension to uh, hold the vehicle. Uh, Aptera Owners Club does an excellent job of covering all of the details that he noticed and as far as I can tell he got all the stuff that he talked about correct. Um, yeah, the, the things that uh, I could even possibly think about disagreeing with him on, nobody knows about, so I'm just going to leave that out and uh, leave that out of this video and say that you should check out his take on this uh, suspension system because um, I agree with basically everything he said. So yeah, um, there was a... I, I hesitate to call it an interview because it really wasn't. Um, there was a an interaction, I suppose, between Elon Musk and uh, the presidential hopeful Donald Trump. Uh, he uh, talked about a lot of things at length, and uh, you know, you, you know his talking points. Trump's talking points are basically always the same, but uh, one thing that he did mention and one thing that this video talks about is that he wants to put solar panels on all of the cars. Um, it was funny that he mentioned that because he basically described wanting an Aptera, but not knowing the word Aptera, and so uh, he believes that Elon Musk could be the guy to make a solar-powered vehicle. Um, I know that Elon Musk has stated in the past that he believes that solar doesn't make sense on vehicles, and honestly I get his logic partially because of the weight and impracticality of the current design of, of vehicles, which is why I love Aptera, because Aptera is changing the game, changing the way we think about cars. So yeah, once we've changed our viewpoint on what a car can be, what a vehicle can be, in the electric vehicle revolution, then I do believe that solar panels on every car would make sense, but as it stands, that's not the case. And so as Aptera is progressing toward that vision in that future, maybe somebody should drop a line to uh, Trump and say, hey, maybe you should get behind this company or something. I don't know. I, As much as I don't like the guy, I will admit that a busted clock is right two times a day. So this is one of those two times a day, in my opinion. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This will be the end of this particular video. I am The Ninjaneer. If you'd like to like and or subscribe and or do the other youtube -y things, please do those things with the links provided all about. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you next time.